You ever notice how many Christian arguments against atheism boil down to confessions of what an asshole they are? I, okay, it's easy to miss because this, there's like a background hum of Christianity in our culture that most of us learn to ignore at a certain point. But as soon as you manage to look past it, it becomes glaringly obvious. Like, I've literally heard Christians complain that atheists are too in your face about their beliefs. Like Christians will make that argument while wearing a crucifix. I get door-to-door -door salesmen for Jesus at least a few times a year, regardless of where in the country that I've lived. Still, never gotten one for atheism. But Christians don't notice the hypocrisy for the same reason that I no longer notice the smell of my cat litter. You live with shit long enough, and eventually you stop noticing the smell. This became glaringly obvious to me during a recent online argument with a religious transphobe. They were complaining about the singular they in a way that suggested they have no fucking idea what this sentence is about when I noticed that they were capitalizing the H in him when they talked about God. These motherfuckers want to complain that the singular they is some weird affront to the sacred rules of pronouns, but at the same time, they insist that we treat the pronoun like a proper fucking noun if it's applied to their favorite deity or his son. And, and I'm pretty sure they'd have me capitalize son there, too. The, the, the point is that the thing that they're complaining about us doing is a lighter form of the thing that they're doing, and we're not even actually doing it. Right? That, that's always the case. Think about how much they complain when shit like evolution or the age of the earth comes up in children's programming. Now, the, the Charlie Brown special that's been playing on network television annually since the motherfucking 1820s stops cold for an echoing monologue about how correct their religion is. But if we complain about that, they'll say, oh, it's a Christmas special. How could you have a special about Christmas without talking about Christ? And then they'll ignore the literally 6,000 other Christmas specials that managed to do exactly that. Now, that's world's worse than what they're accusing us of, right? Like evolution isn't atheism and, and neither is geology. The, the fact that they decided to set their religion's course parallel to the one with all the facts on it, that's not our fucking fault. But even if we accept their bullshit premise that telling kids about evolution is atheist indoctrination somehow, the most they can accuse us of doing is the thing that they've been doing for decades. Hell, even when it comes to teaching that shit in schools, if we actually were teaching atheism when we acknowledge evolution, all we'd be doing is succeeding in the thing that they're actively trying to do every fucking time we turn around. The absolute height of this, of course, is when they accuse atheism of being a religion. And this is obviously and hilariously wrong for all the bald is in a hair color and off is in a television station reasons that many atheists have pointed out before me. But even if it isn't, are you arguing that religion is bad? I mean, isn't the idea that one of the religions is true kind of central to your whole thing? Like, we're not a religion, but if we can all start off agreeing that that would make us less rational, that'd be great. That'd be a great starting point for our discussion. Of course, like a jackass saying he can't see the eclipse because the sun's in his eyes, they're so blinded by their own goddamn privilege that they can't see it when it's right in front of them. That background hum of acceptability has been permeating their assholery for so long that even when they recognize the behavior itself is bad, they can't see that they're the ones doing it. And as bad as all that is, it's almost exculpatory, isn't it? Like, like somehow deep down, they, they do know that their behavior is that of an asshole, and they do know that one should avoid acting like an asshole. They're just victimized by that background cultural hum. But if you're tempted to paint them as the victims in this whole thing, I think it's worth remembering that we've been trying to show them this shit for quite a while now. Every effort to force them to face their privilege has been met with closed eyes, fingers in the ears, and a chorus of la, 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 I can't hear you. When their kids start to glimpse the corners of their privilege, they freak the fuck out and start a crusade against critical race theory. Yeah, hell, the very exchange that led to this diatribe was a person vocally rejecting the idea that they should be at least one fiftieth as respectful to real human beings that we can prove exist as they insist we be to their imaginary fucking friend. I mean, look, I can't blame a person for not being able to see around their cultural obstructions, but it's not like nobody ever told Christians what to do when their view is obstructed by a plank in their eye.